what's good youtube today we are going to be making the best shooting glass lock build so to start off you guys are going to want to go power forward you could pick right or left handed it doesn't really matter but let's get into it so to start off you guys are obviously going to want to go to the defense and shoot in pie chart that's how you're going to obviously make the glass lock um so we're just going to do that right away for the pie chart i picked the strength and the speed pie chart you guys see i'm going to get a 68 speed a 75 strength 65 acceleration and 54 vertical um the max strength you can really get is 75 and the max speed you can get is 70 so i think those are the two most important stats and so i just did the best of both and picked this one for the stats you guys are going to want to max out your close shot max out your post hook and max out your standing dunk that's going to get you to eight badges so i'm going to try to go down on my standing dunk a little bit i get a 72 standing dunk 84 shot close and the 73 post hook for the shooting you guys are going to want to go max on three and max on the mid range max on the post fade but that only gives you 13 badges so you are going to want to go up i went to um 19 here so i'm going to get an 83 free throw as well you guys are gonna leave the playmaking. Um, I didn't do anything to my playmaking because you're not gonna be touching the ball. Like you're just gonna be spotting up basically. And since you're a big, max out your interior. I maxed out my perimeter. Uh, you wanna max out your rebound as well. Max out your block. And with the remaining, you can either do lateral quickness or steal. I did go with lateral quickness. But you guys will be able to see that I do have 13 attributes remaining. So you could put, honestly put that anywhere. Uh, if you want to get I don't think you can actually get an extra shooting badge you guys can go to post moves or you guys can put it on the steel it's honestly up to you um, I'm gonna put it on the steel just because but without further ado let's let's keep going um, so you're gonna want to pick Burley um, Burley's obviously the best for kind of any big man built built is okay but Burley's really gonna help you set those big bodies so you're gonna want to pick Burley that's where it kind of gets tricky if you go 610 you do lose out on the speed you do lose out a little bit on the jump shot but it increases your interior defense so if you pick 610 or 611 it really is um up to you but at the same time i want you guys to consider this you're gonna want to max out your wingspan so if your mid-range and your three-pointer goes down right now you're gonna want to max out your wingspan too it's really gonna take a hit on your three and your mid-range this build is really only good for shooting mid-ranges as mike wang said this year if you don't have a 75 or more three you're not gonna hit it consistently it's just that simple so you guys can go 610 or 611 but i'm gonna go 69 um for the weight this is also a little tricky um you guys are gonna want to do this so i didn't go to the minimum i didn't go to the average either i went a little bit above so what i actually did was i put my strength to an 81 and what this did was it kept my speed at a 66 acceleration at a 63 so it only really took them down by two but it increased my strength by six and when you max out your wingspan your strength does go down so I want to make sure I have an 81 so I can maybe come back to like a like a 76 or a 75 so you're gonna want to go to 251 pounds for wingspan I maxed it out you guys see you take a big hit on shooting you're not gonna be able to shoot threes probably at all you're gonna be able to shoot mid ranges consistently considering you do have the Hall of Fame badges and if your point guard has dimer you probably will not miss mid ranges your strength goes down to a 77 I did warn this would happen um, if you guys do want to you guys could probably go to 89 but i suggest you just do 91 it's it kind of benefits you more with your rebound with your block standing dunk all these things so like i do suggest you go max wingspan and for your takeover um, i honestly would suggest rim takeover you guys can do glass if you want but i just feel like rim rim take it's just it's just way more op nobody can really score on you when you're in rim take i think this also does help your rebound so I'll suggest you go with rim take. And with that, you guys seen you have built a glass cleaner. This is also a clickbait build because it's gonna show, like you guys can see, you will be able to shoot with this build. People are gonna think, oh, he's probably a glass lock, pure red or something like that. But you are gonna be a red and blue, or a red and green, sorry. So this is a good build for you. You guys see Charles Oakley, Kevin Love, and John Collins are the comparisons, but that's not really true. But anyways let's let's keep going so 
so you're obviously going to want to go 99 overall rating um, it doesn't benefit you to do anything lower for your finishing badges um, I honestly went deep hooks on silver just in case if I want to post up um, I'm going to be running a pure like ISO kind of a slasher so if the guard switches on to the slasher this guy is going to post hook so I'm going to have this deep hooks on silver um, I'm going to have back down on silver as well make sure I get a little pro touch and maybe if you guys want you could put slithery finisher on I'm gonna do that you guys could also do gold pro touch gold back down and silver deep hooks it's honestly your choice and what's gonna best fit your playstyle. you guys can even put lob city it, all, it honestly depends on what you guys are running on the twos or the threes but this is what's gonna work for me and my lineup so that's why I'm gonna do this for the shooting like I said it's gonna be harder to hit threes you're going to want to go Hall of Fame catch and shoot. This is mostly for mid-ranges, honestly. Hall of Fame catch and shoot, probably gold Deadeye because it will be easier to contest shots. Hot Zone Hunter can also go on gold. Green Machine, I'd put that on gold as well. Deep Phase, you could do it on silver. Like I said, uh, this guy, he can also go in the post a little bit. I'm thinking that the guard is going to switch on to this guy and he's going to go in the post. So once he posts him up, it's going to be helpful to have Deep Phase. That's why I'm going to just put it on silver right here. Maybe range extender, bronze, or silver for the mid ranges. And you do have two left. Um, so you can put on corner specialist if you're spotting up from the three pointer. Maybe in takeover or something, you will be able to hit that shot. So you can go on gold corner specialist. But honestly, guys, it's up to you. Like I said, it's, on, it's, on, it's about what you're running. So this is going to vary for everybody. Playmaking, it honestly doesn't matter. You could put on postman technician. Like I said, I would like my build. When I'm using this guy, I would want him to post up, so I'm going to put on Unpluckable, so when I'm in the post, the guard doesn't get a lucky steal or something, but you guys can't put on Postman Technician, but I'm, it's, it's honestly up to you. I'm going to go on Unpluckable. And this is the defense. Um, I'm not going to be setting screens. Like I said, one person is going to be ISOing, so I'm not going to need any brick wall. If you guys need it, feel free to put it on. I'm going to put Silver Box. I feel like my guy's going to get rebounds either way. Hall of Fame Rebound Chaser silver um, rim protector i'm gonna put gold pogo stick put little bronze clamps on uh bronze chase down hall of fame intimidator and i'm gonna put post move lockdown just in case if someone tries me in the paint it's gonna be on silver just in case and i have an extra badge so i can honestly put this on whatever i'll put it on um silver clamps just in case if i get stuck on the guard i will be able to stick him because i do have a little bit of perimeter defense so that's going to be it for the defense and yeah man so this is kind of the build um i actually suggest you guys go left-handed i was i was i picked right um if you if you guys are just doing this to sit in the corner while you're while your guard isos and you're sitting on the right side i would suggest that you pick a left-handed jump shot if your guard likes isoing from the right side and you're on the left i would suggest you pick a right-handed jump shot i think it's just easier um, but that's just me. I don't know. I would suggest if you're ice one, if you're spotting up on the right, you shoot with your left. That's but it's honestly up to you. But that's gonna be it, man. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys want to see more builds, let me know and even suggest. Like if you guys want to see a shooting and playmaking build, I will try my best to make that for you and I'll post a video on it. But that's gonna be it, man. I would appreciate if you guys could subscribe and like. But without further ado, I'm not gonna hold you guys too long. I'll see you guys in the next one.